keen to understand why your company is pursuing a net zero goal. What do you see as the benefits of that kind of ambition and why is it important to you? Well, again, Elliot, thank you for giving us the chance really um, to talk. Uh, we founded Low Carbon 10 years ago with a with a single single goal of making a, a lasting impact on climate change. So, so net zero wasn't a, a reference at, at that time when when we founded, but we we know we wanted to to very much focus focus on climate change and and I, and I think it, you, businesses understand the urgency of, of climate change and 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 I think businesses understand the 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 potential problems that come from from climate change and 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 thus and thus kind of embrace them and and I think we understand the science and we respect the science and and businesses do and 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 thus when when we founded low carbon in in it, it was just around that central belief of making a lasting impact on climate change and and net zero as a target is is it, it's just the measurement of that it's the measurement of the footprint that we have on the planet and thus that's the right approach that we should take with regards to with regards to measuring that so 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 for us it's a it's a natural progression for us to put a mark in the sand and say we will be net zero by 2030 it's a it's a natural progression for our business because it's the it's the core of what we've done it's the core of our foundation so. what does what does delivering on that agenda look to you what are some of the actions that you're taking and what what does that mean in terms of like positive results. Um, well, I, I, I guess the positive results for us is is around it, it, it is around the measurement. I, I mean, what I think you've had to do with 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 net zero is 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 break down what are you what are you measuring. So I think any any business needs to to say, okay, how do I measure my impact and and for us, the, the the challenge that we have is, and it's referenced in in scope one, two, and three. But really, what it means is that from your whole supply chain, how how do you make an impact, and how do you measure that, and what's the what's the sum of those parts to understand your impact as a measurement of net zero? And 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 I think that's that's been that's been the focus that. That we have had from the beginning, I think now it's now it's a point that we're 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 documenting that and and we're, we're measuring ourselves against and we're tracking that data against it, as as should everybody else. It's it should just be a natural progression for every business. And in delivering on that mission, what are some of the big challenges you've encountered? How have you been able to overcome them? I think the the, the challenge for us has has initially been around about about data and and really measuring the data. I think that was that was a challenge and probably something we we didn't do uh, originally in the beginning. And um, I, I think the lens of shining shining a light on net zero has has meant that you know, companies like ours are being asked to measure every element and and I, and I think that's been a that's that's been good for us uh, I think gathering data is 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 critical because without it you 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 can't you can't measure it but but we've also realized you you can't do it alone you you have to you have to partner you have to work with across multiple businesses and and we just made an announcement with with Mass Mutual, a, a U.S. large insurance company, who who said to us, "We we want to move 220 billion of our assets to net zero, low carbon. Can you help us do that?" And and I think that's a great example of businesses combining together to say, "Together, let's take our expertise, join them together to make a you know to make an impact on net zero."
So you, you've obviously been on a journey in, in founding Low Carbon and building it to the scale and impact it has today. What would you say, if, if you could kind of go back to speak to yourself 10 years ago or 15 years ago when you were kind of embarking on this, what would you like to say to yourself? Are there things that you wish you know now that you wish you'd known then? It, it, it's not necessarily what I'd wished I'd known. It was just I wished that others had known. Um, I, I think one of the, the great outcomes of COP26, it, it shined a light on the problem. And and it, it, it has made, whether it's governments or businesses or, or individuals, understand that we have a challenge. I think I think David Attenborough did a, a tremendous opening remark where where while COT was focused on one and a half degrees, David Attenborough focused on the Keeling curve. So the measurement of CO2 in the atmosphere, and he had it at 414 parts per million in his speech. And and I think that's that's a tremendous measurement that we should all have because it's one that we can all see. You, you you can't necessarily see the one and a half degrees. Um, you, you can't necessarily see how close you, 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 to achieving that we are, but you you can with the with the Keeling curve. And I think he 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 did he did for me set that platform and foundation. So it's so rewinding to your question, it's not it's not necessarily things that I would have changed. I, I it would be much easier for low carbon to launch today because it feels there is more of an acceptance and more of an understanding of the science and more understanding from 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 the schools to the to to homes to businesses to government that we all have a challenge that we have to face i mean you make a great point i think after cop 36 we in the run-up to it as well but after even more we're going to see so many other companies embarking on this journey so mm -hmm. companies who have maybe identified it as something they, they've been thinking about, but now realize that they need to move forward. Um, if, if you had one of those businesses in front of you today, what would you like to say to them? Uh, measure your impact. Measure yourself and hold yourself accountable to that impact. Um, every individual thing you can do it has an impact towards net zero. Whether it's a whether it's a hotel chain enabling the lights to be turned off as you leave your bedroom, to to uh, an organisation such as us focused on renewable energy, we all we all have a part to play. Businesses should join together to make to make that impact together, and and no impact is too small. And you talked about the value of collaboration and the needing to, to work together with others. Um, can you talk a little bit about some of the collaborations you're most excited about? Well, I, I, I mentioned I mentioned Mass Mutual uh, in, initially. Um, I, I think those and, and other finance partners who who really understand that they have to move their assets to a, a net zero impact. Um, and and we have partnered with with many in order to do that, and and we should continue to do that. Um, so. As an organisation that works so hard to get new renewables projects going, so I think at the moment we're in a particularly interesting place in terms of the energy transition because mm -hmm. you know we're seeing, shall we say, the result of numerous factors, but there is partly partly it's a kind of uneven recovery from COVID, but also partly it's a actually an underinvestment in the energy system as as investment falls on the fossil fuel side, we're still not getting up to the, the speed, the levels that we really should be seeing in, in new low carbon energy. What mm -hmm. do you, if you were to talk about some of the things that you'd like to see that might accelerate some of that that rate of investment, what what would you want to, want to highlight? I guess it is a it's a collaboration between governments, business, individuals, and uh, and and the home in, in order. To, to make those changes. It's the, it's the homeowner demanding, I, I want my power to be from a clean source. Um, the businesses being able to, to partner to deliver that renewable source and, and the governments to provide the policy to enable that 
to happen i i think is is really is really at the core but but it it does start with the individuals and their and their demand and and i i do believe i do believe cop has had that impact you know i've seen it in my own children that their school for two weeks ran their own cop um and and that's in a that's in a primary school you know it's a and and the level so the level of exposure i think is is more and, and they are demanding more and, and and right and rightly so so and you've talked also about the fact this is a partnership between business and government and society and all of these kind of things come together Obviously, government has a, a key role, a key leadership role in that. They've obviously hosted COP26. Before that, the UK has produced its net zero strategy and various you know, energy white paper before that. So, I mean, I think I think if you were speaking to someone from the government today, they would say they've hopefully set the direction, but there's still work to do in terms of making that, bringing that to life. What would you like to see as as we move into the delivery phase, as we move faster and faster into kind of rolling out the pace of change? Are there particular things that would help your business flow, that would help the kind of the investment in in the renewable sector and other areas that could be really really useful? It's simply consistent consistent policy, consistent consistent focus on on net zero, consistent focus on businesses working together and and partnering with individuals to achieve that it's it's it would be my very simple ask really absolutely and do you think so you know i think often when people talk about businesses responsibility on climate change you hear about the role of the bigger businesses in, in the energy sector in in other sectors you hear some of the kind of like high profile ones but actually this is something it's an agenda for all companies how easy do you think it is for smaller businesses to engage in this agenda I, I think I think it's critical. It, it's as I, as I referenced is, is referenced as you know no action is too small. We we all have we all have a responsibility regardless of the size of our business. I mean we're a, a a small a small growing business, but we know we know with partnerships our our reach is bigger than our size. Uh, we we know that we can we can lead in that regard and and and. No, no business should be saying just because I am smaller than another business that I shouldn't I shouldn't be able to make impact. It's it's a responsibility of us all to make that impact, um, regardless of the size of your business. And I guess you know we're also we're talking after COP twenty six. Um, yeah. Were you pleased with what came out of that? Are there, you know, what are your reflections on that? Would you have liked it to go further in some areas? Would you, you know, think it it created some useful tools? What's what's your thoughts? Uh, at at a at a high level, um, as a, as I reference, COPS twenty six shined a light on 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 one and a half degree problem, um, and and so there's areas you could be critical of, but but. From the from highlighting the challenge, I think I think it was successful. I think it, I think it has I think it has had impact. And and yes, we would have liked to go further in other areas, but but in a two week frame to pull everybody in a similar direction is let's face it is a tough is a tough task. The fact that that coal was mentioned is a positive um others would like it to have gone further and, and i i accept that i others would like a you know definite measurements and i kind of accept that however we know from where we started from that the fact that we again have focused on this and then we focused that that or i said to shine a light on it and people to understand it whether it's governments businesses and individuals i i think i think it's positive um it's it's now that the concept of following through it's now the concept for for companies like us to just continue to accelerate our efforts to partner and to do more um yeah there's there's there are some tremendous outputs from cop and 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 we should we should take we should take those those and and build on them and and continue to accelerate and continue to go fast and keep the momentum and and cop 27 needs to build on cop 26 and 
and and because we do have this this one last decade to, to give it a go so if you had a magic wand you could get anything maybe there's more than one thing but what would you like to see what 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 could help deliver some of that acceleration i think first and foremost to everybody to embrace to everybody un to understand we have a problem we have we have a challenge i think for everyone to to listen to david attenborough's opening remarks at cop 26 and say the parts per million of carbon in the atmosphere is the ticker symbol we should watch and we should all be aware of and from that build a plan about how we all individually governments business and and individuals measure ourselves against that and a net zero is a, is a is is how graceful we are respecting the planet is how we measure our impact and and allow everybody to measure their net impact you know again whether it's governments businesses or consumers and and collaborate in doing it um we have we have one single objective and let's reduce the parts per million in the atmosphere the keeling curve and see how we can do that um so as well as some you know you've you've talked about direct economic partnerships and so on but you know what is what is the role for business to to be in should we say more cross sectoral uh, systemic partnerships is that important as as I, as I said partnering with businesses um is is key and and i've already talked about that that mass mutual has, has been a, an important part of of low carbon's connection but but we want to be part of the corporate leadership group because of that connection of businesses and governments and, and, and a focus on, on one common goal to deliver upon. And, and that's why the corporate leadership group is, is an important team for us to be a part of.